briefly talk. Tell me about your own. You've heard about the UAPs, UFOs. Like <laughs> yeah. So what? Okay, tell us about that. So I got Men in Blacked. I know a lot of people are going to be like, "That's crazy," but ultimately, what happened is, being a member of Oversight, we follow up with whistleblowers, and we also can conduct our own investigation. So myself, Representative Burchett from Tennessee, and Representative Gates uh, were on a small codel to the panhandle because a whistleblower came forward from Eglin Air Force Base pilots to Representative Gates's office saying that the Air Force was essentially covering up UAP activity and we needed to look into it. So we coordinated the meeting. Uh, Pentagon tried to initially cancel the first one. We got it back on the books. We show up there and we get in and the base commander tried to basically tell us that we didn't have authorized clearance to look into and speak to some of the witnesses of which you don't tell Congress that we don't have the authorized clearance, especially members of House Armed Services, Oversight and Judiciary. So we, I kind of had it out with the base commander, which is kind of funny because this guy really thought that he, he had it going on. And he actually, right. in the middle of our, um, our meeting, he took off on leave, which never happens with a member, a delegation going to military uh, base. But then also too, we had pretty sure people from the agency that were there as well. And so you really don't find that. I've worked at Herbert Field. I've, you know, I've worked in the military for a number of years. And so why would a intelligence agency need to be there on a meeting for whistleblowers? Mm -hmm. So that happened, I can tell you, based on my investigations, not in a classified setting, that I absolutely believe that there is um, things that are advanced technologies not of human origin and then we conducted the interview with david grush as you saw it was one of the most widely attended congressional hearings in u.s history the information that was brought forward was particularly alarming because you're hearing about people that have potentially been murdered and covering up this information and uh, it was very interesting so i advise everyone to watch it yeah was it so based off of what, and have you received classified information or just what they said? No, yeah, I've, we've, um, but I can't talk about yeah, of that. Of course yeah. you can't talk about it. So what did you, before you came to Congress, did you think aliens were real? So I wouldn't call them aliens. I really like what Grush calls them. He says that they're interdimensional beings and he's very specific so what about does that. that mean? I think it means that they're not necessarily a biological entity from another planet per se. Interesting. Um, what I will say is, you know, I share a Christian perspective on many things. And what's been interesting about this is the amount of stigma that existed previously to this cycle. Mm -hmm. But we have such a bipartisan push for transparency on this topic that they can't necessarily hide it. It has been interesting to see the levels of things that come up. Oh, there's no authorized clearance. You don't have the read-in authority for this, this, that, and the other. Well, if Congress is writing the bills to fund these programs, yet we don't have authorized access and oversight into it, then that's not necessarily something that happens in a free country, right? So we continue to push. But, I mean, it's been very interesting to see some of the stuff that's come up. Was it before you learned? Did you did you think it was going to be completely different than what you learned? Was it no? I had I had some some suspicions leading up into it. You know, when I was stationed at Portland Air Guard Unit a uh, number of years ago, I remember there was a incident that occurred, and the pilots kind of came back and asked one of them what what he thought it was, and he couldn't really talk about it. He, and it, he didn't want to because the stigma that the military has is that you're crazy, right? But we're seeing that with especially technology that we have even you know your iPhone for example you can record things and it's not necessarily going to be classified so you know I kind of knew about it I knew that that was a thing within the military and that people were kind of worried about talking about it but I think now especially with transparency uh, we hope that more people come forward you know the people that have come forward are credible we've done the background checks on them they're not you know tin hat yeah. wearing kooks right. but you know historically there's a lot there that's to uncover and I suggest that everyone look into it on their own Interesting.